Hello, bitches. Hi, guys. Welcome to a brand new video. Today, I'll be uh, not reacting, reviewing slash discussing um, and giving my thoughts about the new Disney's Aladdin movie that came out last week, for me, at least. I don't know about you guys, but last week for me, and oh my god, guys, I can't just say it was one hell of a film. It was incredible. Um, if a bunch of you have clicked on this video who haven't seen the movie and want to know whether you should or not without any spoilers, here is a non-spoiler review. The spoilers will be later on, I will tell you. But the non-spoiler review is pretty much my recommendation, go and watch this movie. <laughs> That's it. Go and watch it. It's great. Um, if anything, this movie uh, tells us that you should never actually listen to anybody on the internet because they're probably wrong <laughs> they're just you know shit talking on the internet um because obviously when the aladdin trailer actually came out there was a lot of opinions a lot of like, criticisms a lot of conflicts about whether or not it's going to live up to the original and like people were kind of um talking about or not angry but kind of doubting will smith as the genie and like mina as aladdin and like it was a lot, was a lot of things like i was seeing a lot of things that were going viral online and stuff or on twitter actually um and this movie pretty much goes to show you that you should never judge a movie based on the trailer because let's be honest some movies that have incredible trailers actually turn out to be average like meh because they save all the best part all the best, they put all the best parts in the trailer, so when you actually see the movie, you're like, oh, it was that it, like, I expected more, they kind of, they showed everything, they had shown everything in the trailer, you know what I mean, but with Aladdin, like, the, tra the trailer doesn't do the movie justice, like, honestly, it's magic, it is, it's magical, it's probably so cliche to say, but it's magical, there is no other, it's magical, I've seen it twice, I walked out, so I walked, I went to the premiere, I know, I know, I walked in there, with not high expectations, but like, kind of, I didn't really know what to expect, because I'm like, okay, I've heard about the criticism online, but, like, no one's actually seen the movie yet, so, like, I'll see what, you know, I'll just, I'll see, I'll form my own opinion, which is what we all should be doing, never judge a movie by the trailer, and, you know, I loved it, I, I went in there, and the movie played, and honestly, it was incredible, it, I was flawed, it was magical, it was beautiful, it was funny, it was adorable, it was, it was everything, it was just I can't stop gushing about it. It was that good. Okay, I personally can't fault it. Personally. I don't know about anybody else, but I don't tend to, you know, nitpick. I just sit down and enjoy the movie. Like, I'm not going to be that person to, like, criticize every single thing. I, I, overall, amazing. It was just... You sit down, you just you get lost in the movie. And that's what it's all about. Getting lost in the film and just experiencing Aladdin. And that's my non-spoiler take, I guess. Just definitely go and watch this movie because a two minute and 30 second trailer doesn't do the movie justice at all at all it just it just, it just doesn't um so yeah go and watch the movie <laughs> if you haven't seen it if you have seen it there will now be spoilers ahead so proceed with caution um <laughs> so um okay let's talk about let's be honest i fell in love okay i fell in love with all that and i don't care at me don't care Mina Masood, honestly, I hope I pronounced that correctly. Honestly, this dude made me fall in love with Aladdin. The first like couple minutes, I'm like, his smile. Oh my god, nah. I was done. I was in love. I can. I'm like Jasmine, girl, same. Actually, same. Like, <laughs> literally. His and you know what? His voice. It's not that bad. His voice is pretty damn good, I gotta say. It was scarily uncanny to the original Aladdin. Um, and it's just, it was just so pure and innocent. And it was just so cute. And oh my god, he was great. And I love him. I like, he's my child now. He's my son. I claimed him, okay. Um, just, oh, bitch. Um, sorry, sorry. I'm <laughs> thinking about his smile. Um, so if you didn't, if you didn't walk into the theatre... I mean, wait, if you didn't leave the theatre kind of being a little bit in love with Aladdin, then you are wrong. <laughs> then you need to watch it again. <coughs> for science. Um, but yeah, he was incredible. I was really, really impressed with him, actually. Um, there was, I think there was the scene when um, he became, when the genie made him Prince Ali, and, like, he comes into the, the palace, and, like, he's on the elephant, and they're singing um, Prince Ali, you know, um, 
And he's like, the smile, his mannerisms, like Aladdin was like spot on, like the nervous smile. He was so good. It, I was just like, holy crap, this dude is amazing. The, the hair, the hat, the, the, the outfits, the, everything. And I gotta commend the costume department. The costumes were everything. And the special effects. It was magic. I'm telling you, it was magic, okay? And yes, I fell in love with Aladdin, that's it. Um, so, yeah, <laughs> that happened. Um, Naomi Scott as Jasmine Girl, I got it. I have to bow down to the Queen. Everyone needs respect. In this house, on this channel, we respect Naomi Scott. We claim her as an icon in the Disney world, okay? She as Jasmine. There were also a bit of criticisms about her playing Jasmine, but uh, once again, uh, she proved all the critics, all the opinion people wrong. That she proved them wrong because she was incredible. She was flawless. I loved her so much. My queen, literally my queen. She was great. Um, I also loved. Okay, we got to talk about her solo song, her, which was which was an original that wasn't actually in the Aladdin, the first of the original Aladdin film. They did an original song called Speechless, and guys, that song has literally... And I'm not even joking when I tell you, it has been on repeat since I watched the movie. Like, I downloaded the soundtrack afterwards, and that song, every day, it's the first thing I push play on, that and A Whole New World. Between those two songs, holy shit. Honestly. I just... I'm, my favourite thing about Naomi Scott's portrayal of Jasmine is how strong... Her portrayal was that she portrays Jasmine as such a strong, independent princess. And, you know, being the princess, you know, she was always taught to keep silent, you know, let the men handle everything, you know. And she's had enough, pretty much. She's just like, because um, her dad, the Sultan, um, he wants Jasmine to marry a pretty you nervous know story. He wants her to marry a prince so, you know, he can become the next Sultan because, you know, he's getting old, blah, 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 blah. And Jasmine's like, well, what about me? Like, I, you know, I'm, I've grown up here, like, you know, why can't I be the next sort of, why does it have to be a guy? Like, why do I have to marry someone? Like, you know, the usual, you, know, you know the story. And the, throughout the whole movie, Naomi just portrays Jasmine with such grace and integrity. And you can tell that she ain't a weak bitch. Like, she's a strong, and I love, what, see, if it's one thing I love, I love strong female characters who do, who, you know, stands up for what they believe in and stands up for the right thing, you know, what the right thing to do. Like, they do the right thing. I live for that content, right? So, having uh, Jasmine be such a strong character, in my head, I'm like, holy crap, when p uh, parents come and bring their daughters, you know, and, you know, and their kids and their sons, like, to see this movie, that these daughters will be inspired by Jasmine. Because I was, in I was inspired. Honestly, I was inspired. You know, I'm a adult male, like, and I was so inspired by Jasmine. I'm like, imagine the portrayal and the message that this will send to the young girls and the young kids who were going to watch this movie. It's such an important like, message, and that song's speechless. Um, sorry that I'm going on about Jasmine for so long, but like, it's what she deserves. Um, but this, when she breaks out in song speechless, so if you haven't if you have seen the movie, obviously this is the spoiler part. Well, they're all spoilers. Anyways, who cares? My point is, she's singing um, no, Jafar gets the lamp and he um, makes a wish to become Sultan and, you know, the sorceress, whatever. And Jasmine's, you know, telling him, no, whatever. And she's telling... Uh, so Hakeem, the loyal servant guy, the guard, the loyal guard guy, um, Jafar's like to him, you know, you got to follow the Sultan and you, you got to obey the Sultan. I'm Sultan now, so, like, obey me, you know. And Jasmine's like, no, 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 don't, whatever. And Jafar's actually like, you should have just stayed silent, and then he makes the guards take her away. And as she's going away, she stops, and she breaks out in song, which is speechless, the song, and this song is so powerful. It's just pretty much telling... It, she's just singing about not being... not wanting, wanting... not wanting to keep silent anymore, and just... To, you, you know, she has a voice, and she's gonna use it. And that whole, like, th you know, two-minute scene where she's singing, and, like, especially when she goes to Jafar, she's like, I'm not gonna be silent, I'm not gonna be speechless, I'm gonna use my voice, I'm gonna do what's right, is so powerful. It could have just been me. I thought that was such a powerful um, moment in the movie that it was, it was, it was fantastic. I loved it. Um, and, uh, so, she's such a... Okay. 
So, yes, we love Jasmine in this house. Brit and Naomi Scott in this house. But can I just say, when they sang um, A Whole New World, oh my god, that was so... That was so beautiful. And, like, the, he's just... Aladdin... Amina's portrayal is just... He's so... It's... Oh, it was a great casting. I can't get over the cast. It was... A, it was the perfect choice, honestly. His little char he's char he's, char he's a charming guy. Like he's charming. He's a prince. Well, he what anyways. He's a his personality is so charming and like you want to get to know this guy. And like I understand how Jasmine could, you know, fall in love with him. Like he's just so precious. And so when he brings you on the carpet and they sing a whole new world, oh my god, was that not the, the special effects, the carpet, the sc the sc the arrangement, everything. Everything was just gold. It was I don't know how else to describe it. It was it was magic. That's it. It's magic. That oh. and I I will I go to the movies want you know watching them because I've seen it twice now. I went in a second time wanting to see a whole new world and speeches. So just wanting to see the incredible portrayals that you know they've just become my one of my favorite Disney characters of all time. Honestly, um, and now Will Smith's portrayal of the genie bitch. There was a lot, a lot, and if you've been on Stan Twitter, you know there was a lot of criticism about Will Smith playing the genie. Let me tell you, he proved you all wrong. Obviously, Robin Williams, you can never beat him. He's iconic. Like, Robin Williams is a, is a god. Okay, <laughs> literally, he his portrayal of the genie in the original Aladdin movie was. Flawless. You just can't fault it, right? Will Smith did a damn good job putting his own spin on the genie, and he proved everybody wrong. He proved everyone wrong. Honestly, I think Will Smith, after Jasmine, Will Smith was literally one of my favorite characters of the movie. Honestly, he's put. He was. He was funny. He was like. He's. I mean, I always, I've always loved Will Smith, right? But just, it was like he was born to play this role. Like, it's one of those roles where. You couldn't see anybody else play it in this live-action remake, you know what I mean? Like, he just did it so well. And he's so, like, sassy, and he's so, like, extra. He's so extra, pretty much. And I, I love that. I love that. Um, it was it was honestly beautiful. It was... Oh, be well, the movie was beautiful. He was just so good as the genie, man. I just can't praise him anymore. Big, well, I can, let's be honest. It's just... I uh, even all my friends who've watched it, like people online, like everyone loved Will Smith as the genie, and I, I agree. Like he was great. Um, I want, I really want to commend. I think I said this earlier, but I really want to commend the special, the people who did all the special effects because it was, it was just, it looked really expensive, like to do all these stuff, and you know, especially for the, you know, the genie having to, to do all this stuff when when he breaks out in song and does like you know three heads and like or two heads or whatever it is and does all the. Honestly, kudos to the crew and everyone behind the scenes because you all pulled it off. Special effects team did fantastic. The costume department, Jasmine walking out in that green, like green and pink, I think dress, was so beautiful. Everything, the outfits, I'm, I'm on point, on point. I mean, everything about this movie was on point. It was actually, it was like funny too, and it didn't try too hard. You know what I mean? Like it just did its own thing and like it worked. And that's what I love, because sometimes movies, they try too hard to, like, you know, stick to the original, like, put their own spin on things, but Aladdin just stayed true to what it's all about, and that's why I loved it so much, so... Oh, well, that's all. Do I want to talk about anything else? Well, I could go on about this movie for literally ages, honestly. But, um... Jafar, actually, let's talk about Jafar. Jafar? Now, Jafar wasn't, like, my favourite, but... At the start, I was a bit iffy when I first started watching it. I'm like, okay. But as the movie progressed, he got better and better. And he did a pretty damn good job, I reckon, as Jafar. He he was a scary dude. Like, he didn't take no for an answer. He was like, no, I want this. He he knows what he wants. And, like, you knew he, as a villain, like, he was going to double cross Aladdin in the, in the cave, etc., etc. But, like, he did a damn good job of being a bit menacing. Like, he start, it was a bit slow at the start. I was like, mm, okay. But as the movie went on, like... He got into the role more, yeah, even more, and I'm like, holy damn! Like, okay, Jafar, like, chill for a second. I feel like he was threatened when Aladdin became Prince Ali, because he was like, I think he, because he wanted all this power, and like, he was never gonna get. Everyone would shut him down and be like, no, you know, Jafar. But he had all these evil intentions and everything, so it was kind of like, you know. But wow, 
I got the, the, the like the second half of the movie Jafar on point. I gotta say, and I have to add the handmaiden. I stand her, man. I stand a queen, honestly. <laughs> Those handmaiden was so funny. Uh, Dahlia, she was so good. Her and Will, her and the genie's interactions was so funny, man. I love her, and I'm so glad that they got together. Honestly, they're actually my favorites. I love them so much. My precious. Um, so. Honestly, the entire movie was incredible. I really, I can't fault it. And as I said, I'm not going to be wanting to pick every single thing. Like, you, I just, you just, because people overthink the movie too much. You know, just go in, enjoy it. Just enjoy the movie. It's a simple, beautiful, romantic, like, magical movie. And you sure, and everyone should be on board and watching this movie, okay? And if any, I don't know if any um, parents watch my videos, you know, keep people, I don't know if you guys have any kids, you know, people who have kids. But bring your young kids, bring your daughters to see this movie because it's such a good representation of a pow uh, powerful, of a strong and independent woman who, you know, is, has pr shows courage and strength and integrity. And it teaches young girls to not be afraid to use their voice and to speak up for what they believe in, to speak up for what's right. And I think that is such an important message to convey to the younger gener to the younger generation. So honestly. You bring your daughters to watch this movie. It is iconic. It is incredible. I stand behind this 100%. 10 out of 10. 5 out of 5. I, personally, I loved it. I will literally see it again. It's just... Oh, I loved it. Um, so, yeah. If you guys have seen the movie, let me know what you guys have thought in the comments below. Um, and if you haven't seen it, then if you've made it this far, then I probably just spoiled all the whole movie for you. But... <laughs> um, yeah, thank you for watching this far. Um, I know it's kind of a longish video, but I had so much to talk about. Um, if you want me to review and talk about any other movies that are coming out, let me know in the comments below, and I'll see you guys soon for another video, or whenever I do one. And yeah, ciao for now. Love you guys. Bye!